Good evening and thanks for joining us for the Monday Wash Up Live after a big weekend for the club with two strong wins in Indigenous round. Shortly, we'll be catching up with defender Jake Lever, but first, unfortunately, we can confirm that Kirtley Hampton has undergone surgery as a result of his ankle injury and will miss approximately the next 12 weeks. Huge blow for both the team and Kirtley himself after an extremely promising start to the season. We can't wait to see the silky midfielder up and running again. Well, some experts around the country are saying that Jake Lever's game on the weekend was the best they've seen from the young defender. We got Jake's thoughts on his own performance. Definitely it was uh, one of the best games I've probably played, um, which was good. It was, it was good to get out there and uh, I think for a big bloke sometimes when it starts belting down, you, you get a little bit nervous, you might not be able to mark the ball, but um, yeah, I was really happy with the, with the way that uh, not only um, the way that I played, but I thought the team um, was fantastic and, and it resulted in a 100 point win, which was great. Well, Jake had a fantastic match against Fremantle, 29 touches, 11 marks and went at a staggering 83% efficiency in the conditions. We spoke to him about how he's feeling down back this season. Yeah, we played plenty of games together now. Um, you know, I think uh, there wasn't a lot of guys that got used back there last year. I think there was, you know, the constant seven or eight guys, which was fantastic. And then we've been able to continue that on this season. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the backs have now got a good cohesion, and we enjoy playing with each other every week. And um, you know, I, I think you still learn. Um, off blokes that uh, you, you might not have played with as much. I probably haven't played a lot of footy with Jake Kelly and just the last couple of games I've um, been able to learn a few things off him which has been fantastic and um, yeah the backs we, we like uh, you know playing well because it obviously contributes fantastically to the team. Jake also spoke about what it was like playing in that first quarter downpour. Well, being a boy from uh, country Victoria, I've definitely played in probably worse than that, but um, definitely not at Adelaide Oval. It's usually uh, nice, clear skies there. But uh, yeah, it was it was amazing in that first quarter. I couldn't see five foot in front of my, uh, in front of myself, and in, um, I was raining, and the uh, the raindrops were like daggers in my eyes. It was uh, it was amazing. Yeah, when it rains, it, it's sort of uh, very hard to handle the ball, start switching it, trying to trying to get you know that that sexy sort of footy. Um, but for us, it was. It was about getting the ball forward and um, after that it sort of did dry up at around three-quarter time so it was, it was good to be able to uh, you know, get the ball in uh, quicker than we were in the first half. Jake also gave us a look into the preparation for the upcoming Friday night blockbuster against Geelong. Yeah, massive game against Geelong. Uh, obviously going down there, uh, down to uh, Simmons Stadium, what it's called now. Um, we're looking forward to the challenge because it's going to be a huge match. They've been playing really good footy over the last couple of weeks. Um, but so have we, so we're, we're really looking forward to the challenge and hopefully get the four points. Thanks very much for that, Jake, and good luck in Geelong this Friday. Now, also over the weekend, our Sample side had a resounding win over North Adelaide, running away with the match by 74 points. John O'Beach, Tom Duday and Dean Gore were the standouts, along with development player Matthew Lee, who slotted a career-best four majors. Thanks very much for your company on the Monday Wash Up Live. Don't forget we are live at 5.55pm Monday through Thursday every week of the season. Go Crows!